Welcome back everybody, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Divine Divinity. Where we left off last time we unfroze a statue man, and we are going to talk to this old guy one more time. Release me from this eternal slumber. No, do not fail me. My corporal form rests in chambers where shadows dwell. I wish to see the light again. Is there anything I can do for you? Help me to escape from the chamber where the shadows dwell. Um, what's wrong with you? Who am I talking to anyways? There is a place where I'll find myself all alone. The silence is too loud for me to hear. Hmm, hopeless. The smell of decay lingers in the air. The lands of the dead are a barren wasteland. There is no sun, no light at all. I keep asking why I am here. I will leave you alone for now. Just don't do anything stupid. I will wait for you in chambers where the shadows dwell. Whatevs. Crazy old man. Let's go see what else is in the town. Do we have any quests? Uh, Q? Q. Restore Mardenius' sanity. Okay, we have to find out what... Oh, oh I turned a statue. Uh, I don't know what I did. But it stopped moving. Hello, kitty. Well, hello there, kitty. You look lonely. Come here. <laughs> well, you certainly like that, don't you? See you later, my feline friend. I give the cat a couple pets. I'm facing them all north, apparently. I don't know what I just did, but I did something. Wait, my human friend, I have something for you. What is it? I've searched through the belongings in my house, and I have found this artifact. It might help you in your quest. I would like to give it to you as a token of my gratitude for all you've done. This looks like a little pyramid. What does it do? This pyramid is surrounded by a strong magical field. There exists an exact duplicate of this pyramid somewhere in the in Rivalon. If you operate this pyramid correctly, it will teleport you to the duplicate. You mean if I use this, I'll be shot across the land like a squeezed grape pit? Yes, in a way. But you will come to no harm. Think of it as traveling across many leagues in a single step. The pyramid will come in handy if you ever need to get well away from a dangerous situation in a hurry. The pyramids are also the perfect way to travel over large distances. So where is the other pyramid? Uh, well, to be honest, I've never dared try it out. The Fingo. The duplicate could be anywhere, so be careful the first time you use it. You mean, for all you know, I might find myself surrounded by orcs or at the bottom of the river? I am afraid so, but who knows? If you don't want to risk finding the other pyramid the magical way, you might still find it during your travels. If you do, it will become invaluable to you. It's a strange gift, but a princely one, nonetheless. I thank you. That is a pretty cool gift. Also, I did something. There's a statue foot here, and I want to press it. It leads downstairs. There's a cudgel, which I think it does less damage than our dagger. Contains nothing. I'm going to hold down Alt so I can see if there's anything. It doesn't look like it. There's a door. With a book! Oops, I hit Alt. Uh, do you want to go read the book, or...? Pick the book up. No? Okay. Can't say I didn't try. Oh, there we go. The ancient catacombs were abandoned a long time ago, and even I, Mardanius, don't dare to enter them any longer. I ordered my disciples to seal the place because I sensed alarming emanations of evil coming from down there. None have returned from the catacombs to report what manner of peril, but I sense it is some entity powerful in magic. I wrote to Duke Farrell in Stormfist Castle and asked him to dispatch some troops to Alaroth so that the Ducal army might take care of the problem. Unfortunately, Duke Farrell has so far ignored my request. This book shall stand as a warning to any traveler who enters this place. Turn back while you can. We've already lost half a dozen men trying to explore this pit of evil. Let their sacrifice be enough, and God succor their spirits. Signed, Mardinius. Well, that's never a good sign. However, we are adventurers, and adventurers do one thing well. The door is locked. Go to their deaths for adventure. Although it's locked, so I can't even get in there. I don't see a key anywhere. Keys? Anyone got a key? No keys? This door is locked tighter than a dwarf sail purse. Well played. I guess we're gonna have to do that later. We also got something. Let's put these boots on. They're better than my sandals. And what else do we get? We have a spear. We don't have the strength to use, but 6 to 24 damage is nice. Uh, we have a bow, which we're not going to use. Is that dagger better than ours? Ours is 5 to 16. It has one durability. It's going to break the first time we use it. Man, all of these things have such crappy durability. Okay. Oops. Uh, B, I. Alright. Moving on. 
There's a house. Let's go check out the house. It's the dead of night, so... This is the perfect time to break into someone's house. Also, there's a cart here. A cart with nobody around it. Probably because you it's nighttime. Do that. I need the stuff right now. Look how my hands are shaking. You didn't pay me for the last delivery, old man. From now on, it's gold on the barrelhead before you get your herbs. Understood? Please, I'll pay you as soon as I get the money myself. I, I haven't had many customers because of the damned orc raiders in the woods, but I'll sell something soon, I promise. George, don't waste my time. If you don't have the gold to pay me, you don't get your herbs. End of story. Look, perhaps I'll tell my colleagues about your little secret, huh? You wouldn't like that now, would you? Please! Just a little bunch on credit, I'm begging you! Look at you, George. You're pathetic. Send for me if you get my money before the cold shakes get you. Dude, you are... Cutthroat. What are you staring at? Out of my way, jackanapes. I wonder what you will look like with my dagger sticking out of you. He did not like that, he just wandered off. Welcome, adventurer. Please come in, take a look around. I've got the finest wares in the land. The best prices, too. What's the rumpus? Oh, the fellow that just left is one of my suppliers. We were just arguing about some goods I ordered. He always increases his price when it's time for him to hand over the goods, damn swindler. They must have been important goods to upset you so much. Now that's no business of yours. Oh, friend, what do you do for a living? Are you another healer? Oh, I, I was a healer, but I retired from the trade. I've seen enough belly wounds and gangrene to last me two lifetimes. Nowadays, I just run this little emporium. Now, you look like a handy type. Care to run a little errand for me? There's a discount on all my wares if you help me out. Okay. Fair enough. Listen, I'm in need of a special herb called Drudene. There's some in Lanalore's garden, but the damn elf doesn't want to give it to me. You know elves, tight-fisted as dwarves in their own way. Anyway, get me a bunch of these herbs on the quiet. If you catch my drift, I'll make it worth your while. Alright, but uh, how do I recognize these herbs when I see them? I'm no herbalist. Aye, right, that's plain enough, friend. I'll show you a handful of it. I've got in my bedroom. Enough to give you an idea, but not enough for my purposes. Worse luck. Fine. Why are we going into his bedroom? That's not creepy at all, but okay. There it is, next to the table. Don't move it. It's very fragile. What does it look like? It looks like it says George's Tridne. Okay, got it covered. I want the key. If I steal that key, do you think I'll get in trouble? Where is it? It's on this little list of things, but I can't quite see it. There's a pillow on the ground. Maybe you should stop doing drugs and pick up your pillow. So it looks like a little tree. I will return. Okay. So we need to find his flower garden. I'm guessing it's up here somewhere. It's so hard to see in the dark. Which actually makes a lot of sense. I found the Drudene, but oh, I can't. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna take that, and 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 that. Oh, you didn't see me. Hold, human, what in the hell are you doing sneaking around Lanalore's garden? He may just be an elf, but that doesn't give you the right to make free with his herbs. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize this is Lanalore's garden. There's no sign to say so. No sign? Of course there's no sign. Everyone around here knows enough to keep other each other's property. I have to go. To get to keep the stuff. No. So I have to be quicker. Oh, it's gone. Wait, maybe it's part of something else here. Oh, I got eight of it. Okay, let's get out of here. We got. Oh, I hit the button again. Shh. No one needs to know we took that. It was an accident. I accidentally the drugs. I wonder how much I was supposed to get. Back again. Hey, you wouldn't have to have those herbs on you, would you? I need them as soon as possible. I happen to have some of these herbs. Here, you can have them. Oh, by the great gods, you don't know what this means. Thanks, my friend. A thousand thanks. I will return. I'm going to your room. Oh, your room's locked. The you door is locked. Jerk, I didn't grab the key. How do I get into your room now? Oh, there's a key there. Okay. Well, let's quick save. How do you quick save? No quick save button? I don't know. We'll just hard save everything.
Oh, that's the wrong button. Eltamar stealing things. We'll call this one. This door is locked tighter than a dwarf sail purse. Well, that key doesn't go anywhere, damn it. Hello, yes, I haven't forgotten. Friend, as a token of my gratitude, you can have a smallish discount on my wares. Just tell me what you fancy. Well, I kind of want the new short sword. That looks pretty. No, maybe not. Not the cracked longbow. There's not a lot I want in here. I got the key. And I can't go rob him, because it stopped. What's the armor display got in it? Light leather that's not identified. Can I grab it? Ah, a nice, an item that interests you. I can let you have it for a very reasonable price. What's the price? It is, uh, lots? Oh, these are the things he has in his inventory. Oh, okay. That actually makes it easier to find things. Broken short sword. It's okay. I think we have a better spear than the one he has. Gloves are not bad. 60 armor, that's quite a lot, actually. I think. I have no idea. 108. We have things to sell, too. We can sell this worn knife. We can sell this broken dirk. But that's the armor we have on. There's a spear. I want to use that, I think. And that's what I'm wearing currently. Oh, I see. It shows you what you're wearing. Okay. I'll put that back. I'll sell that. I'm going to sell these spoons because I don't need spoons for any reason. I don't think I need ale either. Keep the potion though. Sell the wine, all of the wine, and the ale, and the cudgel. Those are the boots we have on. Get rid of that. Now we need money back from him. Oh, he doesn't have enough money to pay us. What a jerk. Um, okay. We will keep the wine and that. That's close enough. Alright, so now we have some money. We have $244. Cool. Uh, second teleporter pyramid. Restore the sanity. We got that done. So we've gotten at least one good quest done this game. Oh, we gained a level two. We should deal with that right now. Oops. Uh, j skills? Okay. S? No, S is safe. It's down here somewhere anyways. Okay, we are a level two survivor now. We have five points we can do. So we're going to put the five into strength, actually, for this level. And the reason is then we can use that spear. And then I'm going to go to... That's the main menu. It's hard to tell because I can't really see at the bottom. Okay, we get powers. Powers of summoning, elemental powers, powers of matter, powers of body and spirit. We can get rats, a meteor, which actually sounds kind of awesome. Netherworld to shoot spikes. What else is there? That's combat mode. That's my inventory. Alright, I'm not really sure what I want to spend my skills and stuff on, so... If you guys want to help me out with that, that'd be sweet. Should I... Oh, I can do... Oh, there we go. Way of the Survivor. Okay, we can get lockpick. Oh, we can get lockpick. Why wouldn't I want to do lockpick? Do we already have Assassin's Kiss, which is 10%, which is not quite good English, of, of chance of applying backstab damage to weapon backstab damage does double damage. 10% chance of adding backstab damage to weapon, and then backstab damage does double damage. There we go. Identify. I can identify things. Hmm. And then we can also... Prices are decreased with 5%. I think I'm going to take the uh, lockpick. Excellent. I have learnt lockpick. I'm gonna go lockpick that dude's door and steal his stuff. That's what people like me are supposed to do, right? Absolutely. Let's save first, though, just to see what happens. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about that. I got you your stupid things. 
I'm also going to save this under Eltimore stealing things, because, you know. This door is locked tighter than a dwarf sail purse. Pro skills. Lock pick. The door is locked. That doesn't help me. How do I use it? Maybe it's too high of a level. Oh, we need actual lockpicks. That actually makes a lot of sense. Okay. We'll figure that out later then. We need to get some lockpicks, find them, and use them. That's a wooden gate. Where does it lead? Oh! There are lots of things out here. That dude is beast mode. Holy crap. Quick inside the gate. The orcs won't attack the village until their numbers are greater. You'll be safe there for now. Uh, dear, what about your friends? Damn you, my comrades are giving their lives for my sake, and I'm not going to let their sacrifice be in vain. Get inside. Okay. If you insist. Greetings. I am Lord Seth, and in case you are the sort who looks for strife and woe, let me also introduce you to my noble sword, Brightblade. Now, with those formalities over, is there a reason why you impede my way? Why did you risk your life to come to this village? It is no secret, I was sent here by my general. A mysterious plague is haunting the streets of the poor district of Rivertown. I am to request the aid and assistance of the good healers who live here. By the seven gods, tell me more about this plague. Large parts of the poor district are under quarantine and people are dying everywhere. It is not a pretty sight, I'm afraid. Hmm. This gate is all that guards Alaroth from the bandits. Friend, I would like to ask you a favor. Could you carry my message to the healers while I guard the gate? I have seen signs that an orc scouting party is nearby. I think I'd better wait here and keep watch. Very well, I'll tell the healers that they're needed in Rivertown. Excellent, you have my thanks. In the meantime, Brightblade and I will ruin the day for any minion of evil who tries to get into the settlement. You have fun with that. That's not me. That's all you. Have fun. We have to help Mattias too at some point. I'm going to go all the way over here. We have time. That looks like the wall around the town. That's where we stole some... We borrowed, we appropriated some plants. Oh, we ran out of stamina. Okay. I need, still need to finish how to do the resolution better on this game. Maybe I should set it to a lower window of resolution and then see if I can get it to... You know what? I'll try that next video. We'll see. We'll see what I can do to make this slightly better, because I know you guys can't see the bottom of the screen, and that's kind of annoying. Oh, we can use that spear too. Uh, we should probably equip it. There we go, look at that. We got a pike on our backs. Solid. Oops, hit the button again. Alright. What's over here, he wondered. Anything like a this door? This door is locked tighter than a dwarf sail purse. You need to get more lines. Are dwarves' ale purses really that tight? I think with, once they get a couple of drinks in them, dwarves would be very good and open with their purses. Be like, hey, everyone, drink with me. That's what I would be like. That's usually what I'm like. That's why I should never drink. I was like, I'll buy you something. Person I don't know. Hello? Greetings, adventurers. My name is Gomo, and I am versed in the art of healing. May I be of service to you? Uh, death stalks the streets of Rivertown. A terrible plague has broken out, and many people are dying in great suffering. A plague. Chaos is defiling the beauty of this world once again. We must find a way to cure poor Madenius. He is the only one with the knowledge to find a cure for an unknown plague. Um, well... Did you... Hold there, lizard. What are you doing in a civilized village? I'm an outcast human. My people are a hard race and have little time for those of the gentle natures. <laughs> Only in Alaroth could I find succor and teaching in the healing arts. Uh, could you tell me about the healing arts? I wish to learn. Woe, woe to us all. All the power of healing that has fallen away from us. The source is tainted and even my shrine has been infected by evil. The source? I've heard of it, of course, but I do not fully understand what it is. The source is a stream of pure energy, human. 
To cure a serious wound or disease, the mind of a healer has to leave his body and become one with the flow of the healing powers. And you say that your shrine has been affected. What shrine? My shrine provided healing gems for the sick, but now it will not recharge these precious stones. There is only one charge left now. Tell me, what are you going to do with the last healing gem? I have it in my care. A wounded soldier. His name is Simon, and his hurts could be much aided with this gem. So why don't you treat his hurts with your gem? Also, the dwarven healer is treating another wounded soldier. Using up the healing power of the last gem on either one of them would be contending the other to die. Our vows prevent us from making such a decision. We must not cause a life to be lost, even by an action. Um, can I use the power of your healing shrine? S ask it for your house, yourself, human. The shrine is a magical entity, so it may speak for itself. You'll find the shrine just outside of my house. S are you unable to do any healing now that the source is tainted? No, no. Skilled healers we are. We can still heal simple wounds, but diseases, poisonings, total curses, and the like. Removing these, we cannot anymore. S thank you for your time. Gotta go. It's daytime now. Where's your shrine? Hello, ki just a random cow standing in the middle of nowhere. Okay. There's a wooden buckler over here. I'm gonna take it. Apparently, I can't. It's not on the right. Wait. Let's try that again. There we go. Although I don't think you can use this spear glaive thing I'm using and a shield at the same time, but I'll try in a minute. Um. Okay. We are going to save here. I think. We're 21 minutes. I. I'm getting the hang of what I'm doing, so like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to do a little playing around, see if I can get it so you guys can see all the buttons and stuff. Take care, everybody.